So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in control panel, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna make sure you have view by set to large icons, and then you're gonna click on programs and features. And then once you're on this, you're gonna have something that's called Apple mobile device support. I don't have it myself, but once you find it, you're gonna click on it. And then for you, it's gonna be saying repair. You wanna click on repair and then click on yes, which will then repair it. So you want to repair Apple mobile device support. You're also gonna have something that's called Apple software update. Once you find that, you wanna click on it and then click on repair and then click on yes. So now you want to repair Apple software update. Now we're gonna be doing that for iTunes as well. But for iTunes, make sure that you have your iTunes library backed up somewhere else as well, just in case. So now once you find iTunes, you wanna click on it and then click on repair. And then you want to repair iTunes as well. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand universal serial bus controllers. And now you wanna look for Apple mobile device USB driver. Once you find that, you wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers installed for Apple mobile device USB driver. Then you wanna go back and click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on every pick from a list. Then you want to install the one that you think is most applicable to your USB driver. And now you want to click on that and then click on next. And then you want to install that. And now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in services, click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to look for Apple mobile device service. So it's going to be like up here in the A section, you want to look for Apple mobile device service. Again, I do not have it, but once you find it, you want to double click on it. And then you want to change the startup type to automatic and then click on start which will then make the service status running. So make sure that the starter type is on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. Now, once you complete the steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.